are live from beautiful New York City, where global leaders from around the world have gathered for the United Nations General Assembly. We really want to think about the future generation. Health is wealth. That's, I mean, part of our uh, slogan for the um, FII virtual um, forum today. And we think you cannot separate health from economies and from sustainabilities. If you have healthy customers and you have a healthy population, your business will be more productive. If you think about health, it's really around education. Investment in education will have the greatest impact on humanity and also on the healthcare of humanity. I think it's important for us to remain optimistic. We want to be here. We want to enjoy this beautiful planet. We want to enjoy this beautiful life that we have. We also want to be able to uplift those marginalized populations around the world. Up next, we have a special announcement from the Infectious Disease Index. The index provides an objective, quantitative, and comparable measure for infectious diseases, thereby enhancing the situational awareness to effectively prepare, respond, and mitigate global health threats. If we stop um, the drive to innovate, then we're not going to have any new drugs. There's already an example of how you protect intellectual property, reward the innovators, but at the same time make uh, uh, vaccines available. We are a public-private partnership, and that's the only way that we can work. We have chosen mRNA uh, as our vaccine uh, technology because we believed deeply in its potential to democratize healthcare. La première piste pour moi c'est le vaccin qui de Covid-19 qui doit devenir euh, un bien public mondial euh, qui serait donc euh, ainsi accessible à toute la population de la planète. 80% of the developed world has had one vaccine and 20% less than, and if we're talking some countries, probably in single digits. But you've got to have a conversation led by people like Akin and Ngozi that says it is in your interest to ensure that Africa has vaccines. We have proponents, more than 100 countries who are asking for a waiver. Uh, of the of the IP and there are other countries on the other side who feel that maybe this is not what is needed right now. What we are trying to do is bring them together. We have long-term views. We don't want to exploit all of our resources overnight or one year or two years or three years. I think in the longer term you, you will benefit. Millions of small ethical choices in how we live made by millions of people around the globe, moves us towards a better world. We would be the first sovereign wealth fund in the world to announce this uh, green uh, issuance. So we need to design. So this opportunity of COVID-19 pandemic gives us to reflect what the kind of world we have been, and we create a new world for us, a world of three zeros. Zero net carbon emission, zero wealth concentration, and zero unemployment by unleashing the entrepreneurship among the people. That's the kind of thing we have to do. Science and medicine move faster when we all work together. We have one agenda at the FI Institute, and our agenda is humanity. 